is Aaron from Wild Science here bringing you another episode of our YouTube series of tips, tricks, and tutorials for graphic design and sign setup. Uh, so today I got a quick tip uh, and it's about uh, putting a label on a cup or a bottle, anything like that, uh, and using Illustrator to do that. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to take this logo first. Um, slushy goodness and so as you can see when you put it on the cup here it just doesn't look right it just looks flat and uh, we're gonna fix that really fast so what I usually do is get it the size that I want it so let's say that's probably good right there and uh, it's actually pretty easy what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna come down here to effects we're gonna add new effect we're gonna go warp and we're gonna go to arch uh, and you can see you need your preview on to see what's happening to the arch. Um, so once the preview's on, you can actually see uh, how it's uh, arching there. So and basically what you're trying to do um, is try to match, usually I try to match like the lid or something like that so I can see the bend. Um, and so I'm just judging that distance, um, that distance and like the center distance here. Uh, so you can see like that's too far. It's just really using your eyes. Uh, that's probably good right there and I tend to bend less than too much so um, let's call that good right there so really this quickest way to do is just arch um, and then you can move it around till it looks and feels right you know if your cups not straight you might have to turn your logo um, but hopefully your cups straight on or whatever you're using so uh, that's half of it let's take it one step further in fact I'm gonna bend this a little bit like that um, we're gonna take it one step further so what we're gonna do is we're going to come back down to effects we're gonna go stylize inner glow and this is pulling up um, settings that I've actually used recently um, but yours is probably gonna pull up something different so you need to change the mode to color burn and then um, you're gonna mess with these but I would start with opacity at 50 percent and the blur at 0.6 inches uh, and we're going to go from the edge uh, and you can preview it if you want you can see I'm gonna click OK you can see what we're doing is we're basically um, burning the edges uh, and so that just gives it uh, a little more depth to it and you can change you know the intensity to that if it's too much you don't want a lot you just want a little bit so you can try 30 percent see how that looks um, but I'll show you the difference so that's with it on and then that's with it off and I can't show you without it being highlighted but you can see it's kind of just making the edges a little bit brighter and part of the reason I'm doing that is because what I usually do at this point is I take it um, and uh, I lower the opacity to about 90 maybe 85 I'm gonna go we'll go 85 just so you can see kind of what that looks like so let me do 85 here and you can see now you can kind of see some of the cup because any label that you do won't be um, totally solid where you won't see any color through it so this just uh, gives it a little bit more life to it makes it feel like it's part of the cup a little bit more that's basically how you do it for that um, let me show you if you're using um, like a square logo that needs to go edge to edge on your cup you're gonna kind of do the same thing uh, you're gonna center it and then um, to do this you have to have a cutout image so you can see this cup here is cut out right along the edge perfectly cut out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click uh, right on the edge there and now I can grab that cut line for the cup so I'm going to copy that cut line which is command C and then I'm going to shift command V which is going to paste it in place and you can see it's there and I can actually make it a solid color to show you here so you can see that's the cut line now I'm going to use that so I'm going to highlight it and I'm also going to hold down shift and click the, uh, the label layer that, that selects both of them and then I'm going to clipping mask make all right so now we got a clipping mask and you can see the label goes right to the edge but obviously it's still flat so we're going to click into this layer and we're going to do those two things we had just done we're going to go warp arch okay and it's going to pull up the last settings i used so i'm just going to leave those and then i'm going to add the color burn by going effects stylize inner glow and it's going to pull up our last settings again i'm going to preview it and see you know i'm going to go a little higher with this i'm going to go up here to 40 percent i'll leave the blur at 0.6 and i'll click ok and then i'm going to take it and i'm going to lower the opacity to 90 just to make it a little transparent translucent and uh there you go so that's how you do an edge to edge label
If you found this helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a lot more tips, tricks, and tutorials for graphic design and science setup. Thanks a lot for watching.